52 Charlie take two. We're rolling. And action! The movie revolves around Kate Aldridge, a successful architect, played by Trisha Helfer, whose husband, Dan, has left her for a younger woman. I heard you went by Izzy's school yesterday and that you uh, went off on Laura. I did not go off. I had some concerns I needed to discuss with her. Look, the next time you have something to say, say it to me, OK? Gee, Dan, I thought we were one big happy family now. Laura is Dan's new wife. Mm. Is there a problem? No problem. Kate was just leaving. And she comes into this position and really wanting to be the perfect kind of wife to Dan and, and the perfect new mom to Izzy in a way that she is in control of this family and the family is a, is a cohesive family without Kate. I just want us to be a real family. We are a real family. Kate has premonitions that her daughter is in danger, and no one wants to believe her because she had a bit of a breakdown after her husband left her. All this is leading everyone around her to think that she's, she's losing it. May I come in? I'd like to see Izzy. I don't think that's a good idea. You should come back when Dan and Laura are at home. I thought we were friends. We shouldn't have done that. You know better than to come between a mother and her child. And she does really start to break down and start to question herself. <laughs> to have a waiver after. Hugh is a lawyer who is very good friends with Kate Aldrich. This reminds me of college. You were never on time then either. He is really the only ally, it seems, uh, for Kate's character. Hey. Hey. I got your message. But even Hugh, at times, is beginning to question whether Kate is, is losing it. You don't have a child. You can't possibly understand. I can't stop. I won't stop until my daughter is safe. Kate, I am a friend, and I want to help you try and keep custody of Izzy, OK? And the only way that that is going to happen is if you just cut this out. You need to prove to the judge that you are mentally and emotionally stable, and we got to play this by the book now, OK? Izzy's not safe with that woman. Why can't you understand that? It's everything that she's feeling, she can't prove it. And she basically has to take things into her own hands. Where are we going? Just a little trip. You'll like it when we get there, I promise. There's nothing matters except the security of her child. Doesn't matter what anybody thinks about her behavior. Doesn't matter um, if they think she's crazy. She'll stop at nothing to protect her child. Come on, Kate, what the hell were you thinking? I have to protect Izzy. I'll do whatever it takes to keep her safe. Later on, we find out that Laura might not be who she says she is, which leads Kate to suspect that Laura might be the person in the premonitions that is after Izzy. Don't you see? It's Laura. That little girl was holding the same doll that Laura gave Izzy. But we're never really clear as to whether or not she is in fact correct in her feelings until the end of the film. Have you ever considered that these premonitions of yours are really just a self-fulfilling prophecy? I didn't know what else to do. And that's, you know, that's the journey all along is Kate could just be legitimately losing it. Izzy! Have you come in? 